to transfer. Otherwise, if you were to separate that the spine bone from there, from the fillet, the fish will be too limp to transfer. You may tear it, it may drop, it may break apart. So we gently flip it over so that it's just there. Now, if you'll notice here, I don't know how many of you can notice, but basically the way I filleted it, half of the fish is already mostly clean. So I'm not going to spend too much time on this side. Sometimes at the end here, there's a little bit of a, of a bone, maybe stuck left or not. But look, I basically cleaned that half side of the fish already. So that saves some time. I just take a little bit of this rough edge off. This fillet is clean except for the inside. There's a little film of bones right here on the end. They're not very visible, but they're there. Sometimes you just have to move them around and take them out. This fillet is properly cleaned. There's nothing in here. If there's a hair bone, you know, you may find. Okay, now, that's because when I took it across the top here, I separated it. All these fillets, all these bones here would have been left there had I not come across this easily. That's cleaned already. Now we're going to come up under this, fillet, this, this bottom fillet. We're pulling it up all the way across so you know that it's, it's up. Now I'm going to take this part, secure it on the bottom here with my fork, and slide down the rib cage here. If you pull this up too soon, you're gonna leave a lot of bones there. But this way, the way I'm doing it here, I'm gonna flip it over. If you do have a little meat here, you just separate it, push it back a little bit from the top. And then you just try to make it a little neat with your knife. Just bring all this, this meat back onto the, the fish here. On this corner, there usually be, there's a little bit of a little film of, of bones also. So this fillet is basically clean. The way you can check your fillets is when you take your knife across and it'll be rigid, it'll, it'll just pop. You'll feel it as it hits, it hits a bone. And there's always one or two left. But I guess I got lucky that I cleaned it completely. And then all these other pieces, you can just discard them as you feel, feel free to do so. I don't know how clear that was to you, but you check the tail a little bit also. On this side also, just take your knife and just clean the film off a little bit. Was, does that, did everybody get an idea how, how I did that? I came across, tail, tail first, tail separated came across the top of the fillet from the spine. After I'd done that, I transfer the whole fish, slightly flip it over, and spread it out. You'll get as many bones off that on that first swipe. You're gonna get a lot of bones out automatically. Not all the time, but most of the time. Once you get the hang of it, it's gonna become very easy. But it is a very delicate fish. We don't wanna get that saw motion in there or anything like that because that's when you start tearing the fillet apart. And as you see, it's pretty much intact. And then you'll go into, the, if you miss some bones, you can go squeeze down on the bottom, they'll pop up, you bring them back, you pull them out, separate them slowly like that. When it comes to Walter, when he did his earlier, he left it all here, then transferred. Is there a correct way or not correct way? I would prefer that you could because once the fish is like this, of course, because I've done it more often, I'll grasp the fish in a certain way where I'm, I'm, it'll transfer easy. But you're taking piece by piece over, and that, again, adds time to your, to your process. Once you've transferred the whole fish, all you're doing is taking out this main bone. And before you're serving this, you're going to... Oh, yeah. Serviette. You know, you take your serviette, doctor it up. And both open, or as the chef said, maybe one open... One down, one up. We've been serving it lately like this because when you add your butter, if you have it flipped over, the butter's not going to get in the inside. And a lot of people don't eat the skin, even though it has a lot of nutrients and, and it's still good for you and whatnot. But like to drizzle a little bit of the herb butter, offer the herb butter. I don't like to see every, a few people are still pouring the whole, no, just a little trinket. If they choose to add more butter, Set the, set the rest of the butter down. Always garnish again with the lemon. 
just to give it a little added color, you know. I have a quick question. If you have, let's 